I've just pulled up at the Botanical Gardens here up in the Dandenong Ranges and this place is seriously, it is so gorgeous. <laughs> my tripod right now I need to show you let me show you my tripod is I found a, a tree branch that I've connected my camera onto this is an amazing tripod it's like you can coil it around absolutely anything but this is what I'm using as my tripod to film this why am I making this video I'm making this video because I want to be able to in a year's time look back on the goals that I've set for myself and the mindset that I had at the start of the year and see if I achieved anything that I really put forward for myself this leads me to my first point document as much as you can video yourself don't obviously have to put it on YouTube but video yourself on your day on your experiences so you can look back on it video your goals so you can look back on it if videoing isn't for you then journal write it down do whatever you need to do but just have it so you can look back on it and reflect I don't know about you but I love when at the end of the year when snapchat and Facebook like do that year recap and show you all the photos and videos well not all of them but a selected few of photos and videos that you took throughout the year and they end up choosing the worst the worst photos and the worst videos possible. That's what makes it awesome. That's what makes it so great because it's so memorable. Hello. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're all right. I saw you at the start. Yeah, yeah, I, remember. <laughs> I think also what is so special when you look at other YouTubers when they videoed their life for the past few years, it's so awesome that they can even look back on the memories that they created and almost like relive those memories that just reflect and document your goals i think it's just awesome to to look back on and if you want to take it to the next step then get a gratitude journal as well that's something that i have ordered myself that's in the mail i think this is the nurse in me document <laughs> let this year be the year of action within reason Go out there and achieve your goals. If you're saying you want to do something, do it. Hear me out. Like when you see people who are like, on the 1st of January, this is my New Year's resolution. Me too, I'm waking up at 5 a.m. to go for that morning jog. We've all fallen into this category. I'm not finger pointing. I'm, I've done it myself. Like when you start being that strict, it's when it's never going to sustain. So be realistic and acknowledge that sometimes you may fail some days and that's okay as long as you pick yourself back up and continue as an example for myself with this current video i wanted to get this video out in those first few days of january because it's a 2021 new year's video like that's what people i think would want to see and even oh it's a beautiful ant on me you're a big ass ant you need to go go on a leaf there you go I said to myself that the first few days that I want to get this video out, I didn't end up doing that. Honestly, those past few days, this is what I have <laughs> been doing. wasn't actually getting it done and I was procrastinating a little bit and also because I know I do have a little bit of perfectionism tendency when it comes to social media if it's not exactly how I want it I'm not going to do it old me would be like well now that video idea of 2021 is done I'm not going to post it girl it is mid-January right now in my head I'm like no one's going to want to watch a video like this but again mindset switch i said to myself i wanted to get this video out and done it doesn't matter when i don't care if it's the end of january i don't care if it's the first week of february you are getting this video done because you put this goal for yourself secondly you're doing it for yourself change your mindset to why you're doing something understand why you're doing something and accept that it is okay let this year be a year of action did i get the video out in that first week like i wanted it to no, I didn't. I did not accept that it is okay that you may not completely do what you wanted to do at that point in time, but that doesn't mean you don't do it. You still get it done. Third and final point is fitness and health. 
Obviously that is a New Year's resolution for a lot of people. A lot of people are like, my goal this year is to get my dream body, fitness goals, body goals. My goal this year is to change my relationship towards fitness and health. When I was a child, I used to love sports. And honestly, it wasn't until I had an amazing discussion with my older brother, until this became a bit of a light bulb moment in my head, we're becoming so fixated on body goals and looking a certain way. It's good to have an inspiration, but we can't let that completely consume us. Firstly, that is a process that's not gonna happen overnight. For you to achieve the body goals that you want, it takes time, but that's when you need to change your mindset because if you're going in with just the long-term goal of looking a certain way, instead of being like, no, I'm wanting to do this because I want to feel better, I want to feel stronger, I don't care about how I look, changing that mindset is what is important so if you made it this far to the video they are my goals but one of my major major goals this year is i plan to move overseas to barcelona so if you know i am actually in a long distance relationship we have planned always that this year that I was going to move to him. That was a choice that I wanted to do. It ended up being a choice that he was happy that I chose to come overseas. You want to see my journey moving overseas in the middle of a pandemic? Then please subscribe. I would love to have your support and see where this channel goes this year. Thanks again, guys, for clicking on my video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope maybe you took something from this video. And I will see you guys in my next